mad at me, but I also so knew that saying yes to him meant saying no to all the sin that I love that never loved me back. Mm. What do you mean by that? God was mad at you. He Cause was. I, don't you feel like that's a controvert? Like people say, God no. isn't mad at you. God, God is. Yeah. But I'm like, no, he was mad. No, the Bible literally says that God is angry at the wicked every day. My goodness. It literally says that. And so we have to understand that he's holy, mm. he's righteous and he hates sin. And so it is not about, when I want to be careful for people not to hear me saying that we have to be perfect or we have to fix ourselves, right? Because mm -hmm. the gospel doesn't tell us that. The gospel yes, tells sir. us that when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal savior, we literally adopt his righteousness. He takes our sin mm -hmm. and he gives us his righteousness, mm -hmm. right? And so apart from Jesus, you don't deserve anything but the righteous wrath of God. My God. Because of your sin and your rebellion against him. And so every time I broke into cars, God was angry with me. Mm. Every time I slept with women outside of marriage, God was angry with me. Mm. Every time I fought in school, I got kicked out of school three times. <laughs> God was angry with me. Yeah. yeah. Every time I got arrested, God was angry. Yeah. He's angry with the wicked. And so I needed somebody to live righteous on my behalf. I needed Jesus to give me his righteousness, right? So the wrath of God can be removed from me, mm -hmm. right? And so that's what I meant, right? And the second part- Because it doesn't mean that he doesn't love you. And I think people hear that. I think they hear that if God, if you hear that God is mad at you, that he doesn't love you. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But he does, because yeah. the Bible says that nothing can separate us from the love of God, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't hate sin. Yeah, he, ha he hates- He hates it. He hates sin, but he but he also loves those who-, who, who whom he've called to himself. And I think that he loves us in a general sense of us being his creation, but he hates the thing. All right, what do you think about what Preston Perry said? That was dope. <laughs> <laughs> that was dope. <laughs> I thought the first thing that came to my mind is like your parent, like you go to school and you get in trouble in school and you embarrass them and get that call home. Yeah. You got a good parent. <laughs> like they're going to be angry with you. Yeah. They don't mean they don't love you, but they're going to be angry with you. And the Bible also talks about like, you know, God will, uh, punish you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, for, for doing the wrong thing. But I think, like, kind of what Candace was saying earlier, like, punishment can be love. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I yeah. love. Discipline. I, yeah, I'm going to discipline you because if you continue this kind of behavior, it's going to send you down a road you don't want to go on. So I'm going to discipline you because I love you and want to save you from that. So I thought what he said was dope. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, I, I guess the question is um, you know, I think we're getting confused over some things we've heard o over the years. Um, when it says like God hates the sin, not the sinner, mm -hmm. um, how do you reconcile those two things? Because some of the what it when I heard this, what came to mind is why we were mad at Orlando Bethel yelling at people yeah. on the side of the street when he said God hates you, God hates you. Yeah. How do we how do we make that make sense when it says that God is upset with the wicked, He's angry yeah. at the wicked, mm -hmm. but He still loves you? He's. I, I think when I hear that, I always think He's upset with the intention of wickedness. Versus the person that's stumbling in sin, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're, you're out there and you're, um, you're practicing hate against a race, right? That's wicked. That might ang that would be angering God, right? But if you're a person who's trying to, you know, get life right and you're a backslider, or you're you're falling into sin that way. I feel like that's not that doesn't apply to God saying that He's angry or you know hates the uh, the sinner, but just the fact that He hates the sin that you're in. But he loves you because you, you know, you're his child. So I feel like, I feel like that has to be according to intentional wickedness and you know practicing sin and hate every day. So let me let me put you back on that corner where we mm -hmm. saw Orlando Bethel with the bullhorn yeah. and the sign. If yeah. his sign said "God is angry with you," is that is that's that different? Say? That's different. Um, and and you know it almost can't. You almost can't fit it on the sign what you really mean. You know, it really needs to be, you know, right. it really needs to be God is angry with you if you're doing this, you know, because it breaks his heart or something like that. Like it needs to be more context to the sign. But no, I mean, and I was going to go back to that too. Orlando Bethel was a turn off to me. So I know if you're a sinner and you already, you know, like this woman that was on our TikTok, the TikTok the other uh, week, I know that would turn her off. She's walking past the stadium and she hears him screaming at her like that. She's definitely turned off. So here's that. here's the other thing. I don't think that most people consider themselves, whether Christian, before you got saved, whatever, as wicked. 
Mm. I think that word is 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 like I think in everybody's mind yeah. that's reserved for like Hitler and, yeah. and like axe murderers. Yeah, I don't think Serial people killers. consider them even you before you were saved as being wicked. Mm-hmm. Mm. How does that word land on you? Yeah, like you said, yeah. I think yeah, it, yeah. You think about Hitler, you think about Jeffrey Dahmer, you think about yeah. folks who did like heinous crimes. You say wicked, you don't think about. The yeah. soccer mom who taking their kid to the soccer game every day and in the PTA and all this stuff. They don't know Jesus. Yeah. She's a great person. She does a lot for the community. She's wicked. Yeah. yeah. It Is don't it, seem like a line. Well, it, I'll, I'll say this. Mm-hmm. I think your heart says it all about who you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think in God's eyes, we we judge. In God's eyes, and it's going to sound bad. And some people mm-hmm. going to say, in God's eyes, that soccer mom and Hitler could be the same if they're rejecting him. But, yeah. mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So... If they're rejecting him, regardless if you, I'm a soccer mom, I pick up my kids, I love my community, da da da. When you ask about God and Jesus, I don't believe in that crap. Get away yeah. from me. Yep. As you're rejecting God, your heart is wicked. Yeah. Right. Let me take you back to where it started for me. Wizard of Oz, Wicked Witch of the West, right? Mm-hmm. To me, I'm like, well, I'm not wicked. So, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not that. like her. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think the word wicked just kind of became almost like um, synonymous. To something that, you know, you thought was like horrible, horrible, horrible. And you're like, well, I'm not that person. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not. What, what was she doing in the Wicked Witch of the West? Like, trying to kill the dog and all this kind Cackling of crazy stuff. Um, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that's probably the yeah. biggest trick of the enemy is to convince you that your wickedness isn't that bad. Facts. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, facts. that's what I think yeah. it really yeah, is. If you've been convinced over several years that... The things that you do that offend God that He hates, mm-hmm. so it's all right. You're not, you you ain't as bad as them. That's I think right. I think yeah. our number one lie to ourselves is that it's not harming nobody else, and that's a lie. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it's like it's harming you. Mm-hmm. That's the person that is harming. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. And your yeah. thought process when you talk to other people, it is harming other people. Yeah, mm-hmm. because your thought process of what you're talking about. It's spreading something. Yeah. It's sp- and honestly, it's spreading a lie that other people are receiving that they're, they're starting to live. So it's basically like the gremlins effect, where it's like you're pouring on other people and you're multiplying. Yeah, You get yeah, what I'm saying? So true. that lie that somebody, you're telling a lie to people, even though you think it's the truth, you're telling a lie to somebody and that person is spreading that lie. They get on YouTube, they spread that lie even more. Yeah, You get what I'm saying? Even though it's harmless. It's not, you're not harming nobody, you're not physically harming nobody, but spiritually you could be harming them and it could be, Using their thought processes that could take other people yeah. out. No, that's that's real. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's it's something I think that you got to hear every now and then to remember that how bad sin is. I think we've kind of convinced ourselves it's it's like you know it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's not so yeah. bad. But no, it's it's really. Do you bad. guys think yeah. people can be blameless though versus sinless? Because I think from other people gonna be like, then how how do you be a Christian then? Because then everything I do would you know what well, I'm saying? No. So okay, so I think yeah. The only the only reason. You could even call yourself blameless is not because of any of your own doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's because Jesus was blameless. Yeah. And he covers you. Yeah. So if I'm God, I'm looking at you. I see my son. Yeah. I see a blameless person. Gotcha. Yeah. It's not you. It's, yeah. it's you surrendering to him and saying, put put you and me. I, but I'm I, talking I, about about living though. So it, you mean, is it possible for a person to be perfect? Not perfect, but blameless. Mm-hmm. Meaning well, blameless like, means perfect. Well, yeah. mm-hmm. meaning like above reproach, like you, you're not doing anything and you're not trying to like, not saying you're not trying to sin, but you're like focused so much on God that you don't have time to sin. I think you'd be perfect heart wise. Like you're going to commit mm. sin. Yeah. But I think what yeah. made David a man after God's own heart, like David did a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah. But mm-hmm. when David was confronted with the fact that he sinned, he repented and he agreed with God. So that's what makes you blameless and pure and perfect in heart yeah. is when mm. you agree with what God says. Good. You may yeah. sin and do something crazy. When God says, look, now you sinned against me, you say, I'm sorry, Lord, I repent. And, you know, and turn and, away. And you seek to turn from what yeah. you did. That's, that'll oh, make gotcha. you perfect in heart. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, and I think the, the point is is that um, you're, the only, you, you can't work your way to being perfect. You can't, Facts. You can't prove to God how perfect you are because right. you're not. And then he, he sees you. He knows you better than you. You're not. Yeah. So the, it's the attitude and the heart posture is what I look for yeah. in myself and other people is, is your number one desire to please him, mm. right? So even when you stumble, like he said, and, and it's pointed out to you or he points it out to you or you already know, yeah. is your reaction, 
no, that's my thing. I'm keeping that. Right. Mm. Then it's like, oh man. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That, that's concerning. Yeah. yeah. Because then yeah. that that made that reveals that maybe you haven't been changed yet. Because mm. change because that's what Paul is basically saying. A changed person doesn't think like that. Mm. Right. That's why it's always like whether you believe in eternal security or not, the point is is if you catch yourself in that mindset, mm. be careful. Because mm. either it didn't happen or you yeah. need to figure something out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. yeah. 